So, this year's musical will be Beauty and the Beast. We'll begin having the auditions next Monday, so prepare well. Oh my gosh, next Monday? I don't know if I can do it. I'm too scared to stand in front of Miss Mary and sing by myself. I know I'll be fine since I'm really good at singing, dancing, and acting. Plus, my mom was something to music tour, so I'm pretty sure I'll get better. Lucky. I wish I had the confidence and skills. No matter what I do, I'll never get a good part like Belle. Now after school. Remember to go to Bible study when school ends. Okay, Dad. Ship goes to church for Bible study. I wish I could be at home practicing for the musical rather than go to church again. Huh, I guess... I'm a bit early. Let me look for a place to practice. She stumbles upon a painting of Gideon with 300 men winning the battle against Midianites. Whoa, Gideon must have had a lot of courage and skills. I wish I could be as cool as Gideon. If I were like Gideon, I could do anything on my own. Wait, there's a piece of dust on the painting. Ship goes to wipe a piece of dust and accidentally falls into the painting. Ah, what's happening? She falls to the ground and finds herself in Mount Gilead in 1184 BC. Where am I? Hey, who are you? Are you a talking sheep? No way! Did I go into the painting? Are you really Gideon the guy who defeated the Midian Knights with only 300 soldiers? You're so cool! I wish I was like you! Whoa, 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 whoa! I didn't do that on my own. I was only able to win the battle because God was helping me. I was never a brave guy. Really? Sheep and Gideon are so transported to Gideon's past. Why are we here? Oh, just finish your story and I'll take you back. Yeah, just hurry up or my dad will kill me for not going to Bible study. Okay, okay, okay. As I was saying, I was never a bra- brave guy. My clan is the weakest in Manasa and I'm the least in my family. But one day, God wants me to deliver the Israelites from the Midianites. I was really scared and didn't want to do it. But I knew that I should obey God. So I gathered all the Israelites that I can, but it was still too little compared to the Midian army. The army had 135,000 men. But guess what God said? Did he say that it is okay because you are really strong? He said, You have too many men. I cannot deliver Midian into their hands or Israel will boast against me, saying that my own strength has saved me. I had to send all those who were scared home. Now I had 10,000 men. Mm, isn't 10,000 men too small to defeat an army with 103, 5,000 men? I know, that is what I thought. But God said, There are still too many men. What? Yeah, so I had to send more home and I was left with only 300 men. That's it? Well, I guess that doesn't matter because you're so strong, brave, and really good at fighting. Actually, no. The only reason that I was able to win was because I trust God. We humans, well in your case sheep, can only try our best and listen to God. But what happens afterward is all what God plans for us. My victory was not because I was so great, but because it was God's plan and will. I just did my best and to obey Him. So, all I have to do is trust and obey God, then I can get everything I want? Yes and no. You need to try your best and trust God's word. But God is not a genie, so He'll do everything you want. He'll do the things that are part of His plan. So if God wants me to be Belle, then I will become Belle? What is Belle? Who is Belle? She. Remember, she's from 3000 years ago. So building the best version we can get. Oh yeah, sorry. 
Anyway, yes. But he may have a different plan for you, and that is even better. Okay, so in conclusion, everything is within God's power, so everything that happens will happen because it is His plan. Now, what I should do is try my best, obey God, and trust His plan. You are absolutely right. Well, good luck on becoming best, Bella, Belle, whatever that is. Okay, thank you. Gideon is transported back to his time and ship goes out of painting, arriving at church. Oh, that was so weird. Well, now I guess I should go to Bible study and practice really hard for the musical later. After a few days of practice really hard, it's the day of the audition. Oh man, I'm really nervous. But it's okay. I know I practiced really hard and I will try my best. And now I just need to trust God and let His will be done. On the day of the result. And the role of Lumiere goes to... Sheep! Oh! Oh my god, Lumiere! I didn't expect that! Well, the teacher thought your audition was really good and you'd be perfect for Lumiere. Oh really? Through God's power, I got a really cool part. I'm sure God gave me this character because it was part of His will. Now I need to trust God and do my best as Lumiere too. Now everybody, let's start rehearsal. Everyone to the atrium. So as you can see, she may have not gotten the role she wanted, but she tried her best and God's power came through, giving her a different role that would miss it plan. Everyone remember that everything is in God's power and will, so just do your best, obey God, and trust Him too. Sheep! Gideon! Teacher God and Sheep Father! Cat and Narrator! Yeah. Uh -huh.